mechanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to evacuate the air from the AC system and fill it with refrigerant. So, if you have a system that's completely empty, the first thing you need to do is you need to remove the air from the system and then you uh, put in refrigerant. When you uh, add a refrigerant, uh, you look in the engine compartment, usually over here or sometimes right below the hood, you'll have a sticker that shows you how much refrigerant your vehicle takes and what type. So in this case, it's right here. Okay, so as you can see here, it takes R134A type of refrigerant. And then right here, you can see how much um, it takes. So basically, if you have a rear air conditioner, uh, this vehicle, some models, some trims will have rear AC. So if that's the case, it takes a little bit more. And then you have the units here in kilograms and pounds. So if you don't have rear AC, you, it takes about 2.36 pounds and then plus minus 0 0.02 um, pounds, right? So, or in kilograms is right below that, 1.07 kilograms. So that's without rear AC. Now, if you got rear AC, it's gonna be a little bit more. It's 2.6 uh, pounds and then plus minus 0 0.02. You take your refrigerant and you look at the bottom you have the weight right there. So right here is 18 ounces or 510 grams. So this one takes 1.07 kilograms. So basically two of these um, would make 1.1 uh, kilogram, you know, if, if you have no rear AC. So basically it would be just um, almost two of these. So you'd have tiny bit left in one of these containers um, if you don't have rear AC and you're using this but depends and you can use other um, other systems some have 340 grams so you just have to add that up and add the correct amount um, the other thing to keep in mind is that when you have a completely empty um, system it's recommended to add refrigerant uh, that has oil in it so that will help those o-rings and um, you know uh, just keep stay lubricated. We don't recommend necessarily adding um, stop leaks because they don't really work long term. They don't really help the system in the long term. I mean, and the other thing is that if you have um, a system that's leaking, if you have a really minor leak, having a stop leak sealer, it might help. Um, we don't really recommend that or prefer it because it's better to just find where that leak is and repair it because when you add something that has a leak sealer it can have other side effects and in the long term it's not gonna permanently fix that problem it might buy you a little bit of time but it's not going to fix that issue wherever you have that leak it's eventually gonna start getting worse and worse so let's get started and let's remove the air from the um, AC system So you need a vacuum pump and you also need gauges for high and low side. Make sure those gauges are tight. So we hook up the gauges up here. And the first thing we're gonna do is going to connect this right here. We're going to connect the high and the low now um, these two connectors are unique so they you can interchange them the low pressure port is the one that's a little bit thicker and the high pressure port in this vehicle is actually right here the tubes the pipes on that are a little bit thinner and that's the the high pressure line when you connect these connectors don't if you got pipes that screw in don't screw them too tight, otherwise you can uh, damage this connector. Same thing with the caps. When you put these caps back in, don't over tighten them because you can't damage that and then you're gonna uh, lose the fridge. Okay, so that's the high pressure port, low pressure port right here. So, we're gonna turn this on 
and it's gonna take a little while to evacuate all the air. Now, you might have questions, make sure to follow our step-by-step -step guide because that will have more details and answer any questions that you might have and we'll keep that updated. So once you do evacuate all the refrigerant, then you can come in here to the low pressure port and add the refrigerant amount that you have on your sticker. That's just the best way to fill that system properly. And you can reconnect these two ports and you can use the, you know, you would start the car and then you will also start running, of course, as you charge it. But then you can use this gauge. It gives you a better idea if the system is full and how it's operating. So a lot of times this can be expensive because buying this uh, vacuum pump it can be costly even though uh, you can find these online relatively cheap. Um, AC system, it's a little bit complicated for DIY. Um, if you're just trying to charge the system, it might be better just to leave it to, up to a professional, have them charge it. Because by the time you buy all the refrigerants, vacuum pump and everything, it's gonna cost you as much, if not more, than having a professional just recharge it. Um, but if you wanna do it yourself, this is a, a starting guide. Make sure to wear gloves, protective glasses, as you work in the refrigerant. And also, if you're working with this system, you gotta stay safe. You wanna make sure that you don't release any refrigerant into the atmosphere, in the air. That's it. Thank you for watching.